To continue with the David Livingston story, David Livingston went back to England in uh, 1856 and he was welcomed as a hero. He was awarded a gold medal from the Royal Geographical Society of London. He was given finances by the government. His family was now provided for financially. He wrote a book a year later in 1857 called Missionary Travels, which was a bestseller. And then the British government financed him to do another expedition, again to explore the Zambezi River and see if it was navigable so that uh, trade, legitimate trade, could occur in Central Africa and undermine the slave trade. That was the game plan and he went with six uh, Europeans for the first time traveling with a group of Europeans and they started at Kilimain near the source of the Zambezi which was very very wide, the Delta, and they had a steamboat called the My Robert. But it was a very difficult and trying trip because the, the draft of the steamboat was too deep and they spent weeks just trying to get through the Delta. And there was a lot of friction between this team. There was uh, his brother Charles, there was Dr. Kirk, there was the great artist Thomas Baines. And they went up the Zambezi and it took a long time and they got to the Kaborabasa Rapids, the Kabrasa Rapids they were called then, and it was not navigable. Now he had missed these rapids on the way down, he had gone inland, David Livingston, and so for some quirk of nature uh, he missed them and now when he comes up with the steamboat and his team it's not navigable. The team goes down the river and they discover, they see a big river coming in from the north, the Shiri River, and they go up that and they discover the Shiwa Lake, it's a saltwater lake. And three trips up that river during 1859 they eventually get to Lake Nyasa and Sir Livingston's credited with discovering this huge Lake Nyasa, Lake of Stars I think it was called. Then they came down and Livingston then took the Makalola porters who had come with him down in 1856, he took them back past Vic Falls to Lenyanti and returned them home and he spent more time at the Vic Falls. But one thing he did discover was the, uh, the confluence of the Luangwa River coming into the Zambezi above the Kaborabasa Rapids. And there was an old Portuguese trading station. They had been trading in the 16th century in slaves, ivory and gold. It was now abandoned and uh, he identified that particular place at now called Luangwa. And that was the year 1860. Um, the story continues. On a very sandy road, but sometimes going through beautiful forests, which is lovely, but a little difficult to navigate because we don't want to hit a tree. And the rut sometimes pulls you straight into it. You can't do it slowly, otherwise you'll be here for a week. pontoon coming across he's come from that side he's about to land and then we'll drive on on again from this side
forget. If you never hear from us again, we got lost on this road from Sataki to Watopa. Watopa. Which way am I going now? Uh, it's a bypass. Yeah, I think so. Right on the on the right is terrible. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, and ride up and through the bush. This is Brands. Maneuvering, come left. Around the street, go quite wide so the trailer doesn't touch the stick. Turn strongly now. Stop, stop there. Shaw's trying to clear the road in front of me. Comes. Well, keep coming. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, right, wait, right, turn, we're fine, and turn right, and go, go, 20 meters, go, there she goes, well done, oi, 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 okay, gee, oh, that nearly tipped, okay, This is where we've decided to stop. There. The sun is setting. We are on this absolutely gorgeous thing. Surrounded by incredible forest. Just the right time. The sundowner. Matt, there's Rose. Putting out the chairs and the tables. Putting out the chairs. Oh, this guy. Beautiful. The sun is still just peeping over the.
trip so far. We left Zimbabwe at the Vic Falls into Livingston and did South and North Kafui. Then we went west into Lua Plains, lovely national park. We intended to cross the Zambezi there and go straight up to the source of the Zambezi, but we had to go back to Mongu and to Kaoma and then go north. And uh, we camped overnight there. We crossed the river here on a, on a pontoon at Watopi and had a horrific drive here up to get to Munilungu. And we're at the source of the uh, Zambezi now about 60 k's north of Winnilungu, but we've had two days hard driving to get up here. But the right, we're now walking down towards the source of the Zambezi. Mark is leading us, he's the attendant here. David Livingston never actually came to the source. Obviously, as soon as he realized it was no longer navigable and was going north and not west, he realized it wasn't able to enter this continent from the Atlantic, the west. The Septon is now going to tell us what this sign means. It's in the Lunda language. Um, Martin, would you give it in your own language? And it means welcome. So here we are at the source of the Zambezi. Zambezi is one of the seven longest rivers in the whole of Africa. The Nile being the longest, then the Congo, then the Zambezi, then two West African rivers, the Niger and the Senegal, and then we've got two Orange and the Limpopo, which borders South Africa and Zimbabwe. This is its source. This is where it starts. So we're going to go a bit lower where it's actually flowing. And when you look at the size of this river near Victoria Falls and realize how this thing has grown, all the tributaries coming in getting stronger and stronger. How did they decide this is the source? You decide the source of a river by the highest altitude where you find water that flows into that river. So there's no water higher than this here that flows into the Zambezi. What's amazing is look how small it starts as a few springs and grows into a mighty torrent by the time it hits Victoria Falls. It's so amazing. there's a life lesson there somewhere, starting small and developing to this great torrent as it goes through. Martin's just told us that from here onwards, it doesn't go underground again. It's a surface all the way. Okay, so drink from the Zambezi. We have white water rafted below the Victoria Falls. We've also taken canoes down from Chirundu to Mana Pool, so we know the Zambezi fairly well. It's a real river. <laughs> oh, there's the first falls. <laughs> That's a baby Victoria Falls. So here we are in the plinth that separates the Congo from Zambia. It's got the letters R for Rhodesia, because this used to be called Northern Rhodesia in colonial days. And on the opposite side, there's a sea. So at the moment, if Brenda and I do this, we've got one foot in the Congo and one foot in Zambia. But it's been lovely to be here. 